Welcome to Preventing Mother to Child Transmission of HIV. Are you pregnant or thinking about having a baby? Then this video is for you. If you are HIV positive, it is entirely possible to have an HIV negative baby. However, your child may become infected with HIV during pregnancy, childbirth, or while breastfeeding. If you take no steps to protect your child from HIV and breastfeed, the baby there is between one chance in five and almost one chance in two that your child will become HIV positive. If you take no steps to protect your child and do not breastfeed, there is between one chance in six and one chance in three that your child will become HIV positive. But if you follow your doctor's instructions, including the use of HIV medications, the World Health Organization estimates that you can reduce the risk that your child will become HIV positive to less than one chance in 20. The United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention estimates that the risk can be reduced to one chance in 50 or less. If you are pregnant or thinking about having a baby, the information in this video could save your child's life. So please watch the whole video and listen carefully. See a doctor. If you know you're pregnant or thinking about having a baby, see a doctor. They can give you health advice that will give you the best chance of a safe pregnancy and a healthy baby, whether or not you have HIV. Get tested for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections. No matter how far along you are in your pregnancy, get tested for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections right away. The United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention recommend that all pregnant women be tested for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections, including chlamydia, hepatitis B, and syphilis. The World Health Organization recommends that all pregnant women be tested for HIV and syphilis and asked about symptoms of other sexually transmitted infections. You may be HIV positive or have another sexually transmitted infection and not know it. In most places, testing for HIV and other sexually transmitted infections is free. If you're HIV positive or have another sexually transmitted infection, see a doctor right away. If you are HIV positive or have a sexually transmitted infection, do not despair. HIV was originally considered by many to be a death sentence. The discovery of medications to treat HIV means that for patients who take their medications as prescribed, HIV can be considered a manageable chronic disease. Many other sexually transmitted infections can be cured with antibiotics. The rest of this video will tell you about some of the steps your doctor may recommend to protect your infant if you are pregnant and HIV positive. Remember, different people have different needs and different medications and treatment options are available depending on where you live. Watching a video is no substitute for seeing a doctor and getting personal advice that's right for you. HIV medications. HIV is the virus that causes AIDS. HIV medications known as antiretroviral medications can prevent HIV from reproducing within your body. Your doctor will recommend that you take HIV medications to protect your baby by decreasing the amount of virus in your body as quickly as possible. When your doctor prescribes HIV medications, it's extremely important to take every dose of the medications on schedule. A separate video called Adherence for Life explains why this is so important. If you're already taking HIV medications, talk with your doctor and keep taking what they recommend. If you are already taking HIV medications, your doctor will keep you on HIV medications in order to protect both you and the baby. Starting HIV medications immediately. Your doctor should start you on HIV medications immediately if you are not already on them. The World Health Organization now recommends that all HIV positive people stay on HIV medications for the rest of their lives. Scheduled cesarean section. In some cases, such as a woman with a high amount of HIV in her body, the risk of mother to child transmission of HIV may be lower 
if the child is delivered via a scheduled cesarean section rather than by natural vaginal delivery. However, cesarean sections have their own risks for the mothers and the child. If a woman is on HIV medications and the amount of virus in her body is low, vaginal delivery may have no more risk of HIV transmission than cesarean section and is commonly chosen. Intravenous HIV medications during labor and delivery. Depending on the amount of HIV in the mother's blood, the doctor may recommend that she receive intravenous HIV medications during delivery. Where this is not possible, the doctor may give the mother oral HIV medications to take when she goes into labor. HIV medications for the child after delivery. You can further reduce the risk that your baby will contract HIV by giving your baby oral HIV medications after delivery. Ask your doctor what medications are right for your baby. It's critical that you give your baby every dose of medication on schedule. Feeding the child formula instead of breastfeeding. HIV can be transmitted to the baby through breast milk. Feeding your baby only infant formula can further reduce the risk your child will contract HIV. For infant formula to be considered, it must be safe for you and your child. For example, you must have reliable access to clean water and infant formula. Your doctor may recommend that you feed the child infant formula instead of breastfeeding. If you follow all of your doctor's instructions and feed the child only infant formula, you can reduce the risk that your child will contract HIV to as little as one chance in 50. But the developing world, a doctor may recommend that an HIV positive woman who is on medications breastfeed instead of using formula because for infants in the developing world the benefits of breastfeeding can outweigh the risk. If you follow all of your doctor's instructions and breastfeed the child you can reduce the risk that your child will contract HIV to less than one chance in 20. Don't mix breastfeeding and feeding with infant formula. Either breastfeed your child or feed your child infant formula, but don't do both. Feeding the child both breast milk and infant formula increases the risk that the child will contract HIV, become ill, or die. Testing the baby for HIV. All babies born to HIV positive mothers should be tested for HIV. Your doctor will tell you when and how your baby should be tested for HIV. Babies can't be tested for HIV using ordinary adult HIV tests until at least one year after delivery, but they can be tested using a special test that looks for HIV in their blood. If a baby tests HIV negative one year after delivery, the baby is considered HIV negative. If your child is HIV positive. If your child turns out to be HIV positive, with appropriate treatment, they have a good chance to live a healthy life. If your child is HIV positive, talk with your doctor about how to keep them healthy and make sure to follow the doctor's instructions exactly. For AIDSvideos.org, this is Dr. Becky Kuhn.